Hi everyone, I'm Jackie. I'm one of the owners of the paint bar and I am so happy to be able to teach you an ice cream cone today. All right, this is the perfect activity for a summer weekend. You can do this on your own, you can do it with your family. I'm gonna teach you the structure of the ice cream cone and then you guys can all do different flavors, different colors. It's kind of like the perfect family activity for a weekend, all right? So here is what you're gonna to need to start. So I have my palette, which is a paper plate here, nothing fancy, and then the colors I have are white and black. And then our primary, so blue, yellow, and red. Now, you, um, if you wanted to replace the black, I'm gonna show you how to make brown, but if you wanted to make life easy, you could just use brown and not have the black. So the black's purpose is only to make brown, which I will show you all how to do. And then using our um, bigger pack of brushes today, honestly, I would use the smaller ones because it's a small canvas. I just don't know where they are right now. Um, but, so this is our bigger pack, and then we are using a nine by 12 canvas. The canvas size does not matter for this painting. If you do it smaller or bigger, fantastic. I just happen to have the 9x12 for today. Um, and then 9x12s are so cute because they're little and you can hang them up all next to each other in your kitchen or in, I don't know, anywhere you want at home. Okay, the last thing you're gonna need is a cup of water and then also you wanna make sure you have a paper towel. So let's get started. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to take out our baby brush. The baby brush is the littlest brush of all, kind of comes together on top, little, little. And we're gonna give this baby brush a little dunk into the water. So tap, dip it in your water, and then tap it off a few times, wipe it on your paper towel, and then you're gonna dip it into the yellow, okay? So I am using a bright colored yellow, and I'm gonna bring the canvas right up to the screen so you guys can all see. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go right to the center of your entire canvas. So going right to the center, you're gonna make a little dot right there. And then from that dot, you're gonna go over to the right about an inch on each side. Okay, now, if you're like, oh my God, what is an inch? If you are a little, little person, I would use your pinky finger, but if you are, let's say older than 10, I don't know, everyone has different size hands, but if you bend your pinky from knuckle to knuckle is approximately one inch. Okay, you're gonna go to the, can you're gonna go to the right of your dot about one inch on each side. All right, so I'm gonna go over to the left about an inch and to the right about an inch something like this. So this is gonna be the top of your ice cream cone. Now, when you're looking at this, I know I'm giving you instruction and people will kind of shut off their brains when I give instruction, but I want you to look at your painting and I want you to see if this is the size that is the right size for you, okay? Now you're gonna attach these like this. And then the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna come up from the bottom approximately an inch or so as well. And if you're painting on a much bigger canvas, then just increase this to like an inch and a half, two inches. Um, look at your canvas and think, okay, if I like use your finger, if you put your finger here and you make your ice cream cone this wide, like does that look good for you? All right, so I know a lot of this, a lot of you are very scared in the idea of um, doing a direction that's not, or doing, an instru doing something that's not within my instruction might be overwhelming. But number one, you can always paint over it. Best thing about painting. And number two, um, yeah, number one, just paint over it. That's really all I have to say, okay? Cover it up. Everyone's gonna be a little bit different. And I'm gonna start. <laughs> all right, so now we're going to attach these like this. Coming on each side. All right, we're just making an upside down triangle. All right, now the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to make the bottom first, bottom part of our ice cream cone, and then we're gonna make the top. Okay, so again, um, also, at any point, if I'm going too fast, just pause this video and go at your own pace. It's the best part about painting at home. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make little smiley faces. Okay, so we're going to make a few little smiley faces across this bottom, kind of coming down, going across here. So I have them varying in size, like some might be a little bit bigger, some are a little bit smaller. All right, think of them just like a, we're making little clouds. And then I'm going to come up on the side. Here's another one up here. And then I want you guys to connect these with a smiley face. All right, now this is a little funny looking. Keep in mind, this is a process. You just gotta trust the process. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make a um, circle on top, but I want you guys to notice how imperfect my circle is, okay? So it's kind of lopsided. If you think about an ice cream cone, it's never perfectly, you know, sometimes when you scoop it, it looks perfect and then it starts to morph. So I'm gonna have you guys go down to the top just a little bit more than an inch or so. Make a little mark. So you wanna leave a little bit of space on the top and the bottom. And then you're gonna come in from here and I give it like a little wobble. Same thing on the other side. All right, so we're just gonna give it like a little bit of a wobble. 
And then I'm gonna actually, so now there's our ice cream cone. However, it's so divided, so I'm gonna kind of bring it all together now. So on the left-hand side, I'm just gonna remake almost like a little squiggly line here. And then on the right-hand side, same thing. But on the right-hand side, I'm gonna make it look like it's dripping. Okay, so I'm gonna take this little squiggle and kind of come down a little bit. So see how I'm extending it down? And I'm just gonna extend this to kind of meet it and give it a little drippiness. And then the other drips we're gonna come back to later. Okay, so there's like the, you know, the basic structure of our ice cream cone. So I'm gonna take the baby brush, you're all done with it, and now I'm gonna put it into the cup. And I am going to take out my medium brush. Now I just like the medium brush because it has this nice curved top which um, I like, you know, sometimes it's just a little softer than using like a big flat brush like this one. Um, but anything that's a flat brush, something like this or like this. And this big one here is a size 12 flat Princeton. And this one is called a filbert brush, this rounded one. And it is a filbert brush size eight. So I got a 12 and an eight. I am gonna use the eight, give it a little dunk in my water, tap it off, then wipe it off. And then I'm gonna dip it into, I'm gonna use a combination of my blue and green and white. And if you look at my original painting here, you can see that the color varies just a little bit, okay? So here we go, I'm gonna take this brush, a little bit of my blue and a big scoop of my white. So I'm using so much white, you can't even see the blue, it's just buried in there. I'm gonna add the yellow in just a minute, but I'm gonna to start to just paint like this. So I like to initially just paint and see what the color looks like. And I'm gonna do a bunch of different brush strokes going in different directions, like up and down, side to side, back and forth, like this. And then also I'm gonna add in like the tiniest little itty bit of the yellow. So I don't want it to be a yellow background, but I want it to be like a muted blue, um, have a kind of like a greenish feel without being so obviously green. But do you see how that tiny bit of yellow made such a big difference, right? All right, I'm gonna keep it going, keep it going. So I'm gonna keep going along here. And I'm gonna come down here. Come on this side. Take a little bit more yellow, some more. So minimal amounts of the blue and yellow. Like you want this background to be almost white. I just want to have a little bit of a tinted color. Um, and I like this color because it makes the pink really pop. So if you guys are doing this with family members at home, which I really encourage you to do, I encourage you all to do different flavors, do different backgrounds, or you could do like all the same background color, but all the flavors are different, which would be kind of cool. But you know, use your favorite flavors. All right, now don't worry about getting right up into the ice cream cone. So also if that yellow mixes in a little bit, fine. That's gonna mix in anyway, because we're adding it. But don't worry about you know covering up your outline. Now, while you're painting this, if you intend to paint this on the wall, hang this on the wall, which I encourage you all to do, then while you're painting the front, you can also do what we call a gallery wrap, which means painting your side edges. So taking your paintbrush like this, and just going like all the way down. All right, now it dries really quickly. Now the good thing about doing it now versus later is check out my front. See how it kind of came on the edge on the front? So while this is all still wet, you can just kind of mix it together. So that's why I always advise to paint your, um, to paint the front while you paint your sides, or paint the sides while you're painting the front. All right, so I'm gonna keep it going, here we go. So I like to often just like get the whole thing covered, lots of paint on there, and then you can always go back because the paint dries quickly, but you have enough time that you can morph things around. So if you don't like this brush stroke, you can come back in, kind of change it around. I'm also gonna paint the top here. And again, I'm a lot faster than most people painting. So I've been doing this for a long time. So if your painting is, you're going a little bit slower, just pause me at any point. All right, no need to try to catch up here or try to you know, be at the same pace that I'm at. There we go. Okay, almost done. All right, now if you're at home and you have this on the table or you have it on easel, then you don't need to worry about the, about the edges like what I'm doing right now. So my hands are gonna get covered and that's okay. All right, so there we go. 
um, there's my background. Pretty cool, light, right? Like I like all the, the brush strokes to be going in different directions. Um, and I like to have a little yellow showing through, but really have it feel more blue kind of green. This one I made is a little bit darker, but that's okay. All right, I'm done with this brush. I'm gonna put this brush in the water, all done with it. You can just leave it in your cup here. Um, the next color I'm gonna do is the brown. So I'm gonna do the brown first because I wanna layer on the pink. Now over here in the corner, you can see that I give you a number. This is my number to text me. So this is a great number because then you become part of our community and whenever I go live or we have some kind of fun update, then we can send it to you. Uh, we kind of can send out an alert. And also if you guys ever have questions uh, or wanna send me your pictures, you can do so through our little number there. So 617-553-6778, it comes right to my phone and um, I'd love to hear from you. All right, so now let's make this brown, okay? So brown's a kind of fun color to make. It is really easy to buy, so if you just wanna buy a brown, amazing. If you wanna make it, like what I'm doing, I am going to use my square brush for this. I'm gonna give it a little dunk into the water, so dunk your square brush into your water. If you don't have a square brush, then using a more um, like typical round brush will also work. So I'm gonna make my brown now. So here's how I do it, my secret trick, okay? If you have it at home, then all you're gonna be doing is mixing it in white, like I, I'm basically lightening a brown. But how you can make it without having brown is you do about equal parts of your yellow and red, all right? You're making like an orange color. So basically scoop up your yellow, scoop up your red, mix it all together. And then you make a nice deep orange right there. Then I'm gonna take like the tiniest little bit of black and I, see, I mean tiny, like you wanna slowly start to mix it in. So first you're gonna make a dark brown color and the black will help darken your orange. All right, so there's my dark brown color. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna go on another side of my plate now and I'm gonna mix it up and I'm gonna make a light brown. All right, so there is the light brown. Okay, so we made a dark brown by making our orange and mixing a little bit of the black in to just darken it, and then add a little bit of white and you get this nice ice cream cone color. All this ice cream cone painting is making me want to eat one. So now I'm gonna go right back into my ice cream cone here. I'm gonna use the tip of the brush and I'm just going to re-outline what I just made. Okay, the square brush is great for that. It has this nice thin line. So I turned it on the edge and I used it to re-outline my ice cream cone. And then I'm going to just kind of paint around my curves there. Don't worry too much about this. We're gonna cover up most of it anyway. So I'm gonna just pull it down, pull it down. And up here. I'm just, at this point, I'm just perfecting things there. Okay, great. Just like that. So there's our nice ice cream cone color. And then I'm gonna take this brush, I'm gonna put it in the water. Now this brush, again, also could be used for the top of our ice cream scoop here, but instead, I'm gonna use the round brush. And I like the round brush because it's really good for making these kind of curved lines. So take this brush, dunk it in the water, tap it off, wipe it off. And then I'm gonna do a little bit of my red and my white. So let me show you my plate. So I'm going, also notice the paint all over my hand. You're gonna do a little bit of red and white and I'm just gonna mix a little bit on my plate, not a ton. I like most of the mixing to be done on my canvas, but this way we just have an idea what the color is gonna look like. So a little bit of red and white and I'm gonna go into my ice cream cone and I'm just gonna outline everything, okay? So I'm gonna outline, I'm gonna paint right over that yellow line you might see a little bit mixing with your background. Fine, don't worry about that. If a little bit of blue mixes in there, that's okay. If a little bit of your yellow outline shows through, also okay. And then you're just gonna come down like this. And then you're gonna come down like this way. I'm just going over everything. So don't worry about overlapping your other colors. Now, if you're one of our really type A people here and this is totally stressing you out, you can let it dry, no big deal. Totally fine if you let it dry. Um, in this case, the dry time doesn't really matter because it's okay if the colors mix. I'll always tell you guys if I encourage dry time, but for this one, it doesn't matter if the colors mix up. Okay, now, I really want the colors to mix on my canvas. I wanna have some areas look darker than other areas. Okay, so I'm gonna go over that outline. 
Um, I'm trying to make, I'm trying to like, when I paint, I like to kind of imagine, now listen, my paintings are not super realistic, but I do like to try to imagine a light source. So I like to pretend, you know, the light source is up here. It's gonna be a little bit lighter over here. So that means I'm gonna use a little bit more white. And when I paint this, I'm doing a lot of different brush strokes. All right, so I'm not making it super smooth. I wanna feel my brush strokes, putting a lot more white over here and a little bit more red down here. I'm gonna use a little bit more white up top. And let's see, I'll put a little more weight on the bottom here, but do you guys see how I'm doing this? I'm moving my brush around. And I'm a little more pink on this side. So just keep layering the colors until I get the colors that I like. But mostly I just want it to look a little bit lighter on this side and darker on this side. And the way that I do that, and now here you go. This is a little bit more advanced. You definitely do not have to do that. You can just keep it all one paint color. I just think it looks a little more interesting to have more of the white over here. And you have to kind of work quickly because while it's still wet, you can make, you can add the red here and it'll mix in with the white and it won't be as obvious. Like it won't look so harsh. Um, but I do lots of little brush strokes. I just keep adding the dark red until it kind of really mixes in. Okay. So you can just kind of keep going at this forever. Now this is really a really big contrast, which I wasn't going for, but it does look good. So maybe I'll just keep it that way. Excellent. Okay, let's move on. Now I'm going to add a few more little drops on the bottom. So a few more drops on the bottom. I'm just going to make a little like I don't know, a little wiggle like that. I just made it literally took my brush and just did like a little wiggle. It's really tiny and then I'm gonna do another little one down here and another little one down there. Okay, now I'm gonna take this brush, I'm gonna take the baby brush, clean it off so I had some yellow on it for my outline. And I'm gonna make a little circle for where my cherry's gonna be. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's give this a little second to dry and while that's drying, I'm gonna come down here into my ice cream cone. So I'm gonna go back into the brown that I just made before. So rem reminder, the brown is with the red and yellow. You make orange first, you add a tiny little bit of the black in, um, and that's how you get the dark brown. So I'm not gonna change anything about that. If you wanted to lighten it, you just add a little bit of the white. And then to make this, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make this like a waffle cone. So here in Boston, there are a lot of good places to get ice cream, um, but my favorite is White Mountain Creamery. It's right by Boston College on Com Ave. Shout out to them. And they make the most exceptional waffle cones I've ever had. So when I make this right now, that's what I'm thinking about. Okay, so I'm gonna go from about the center of my ice cream cone, and I'm just gonna make it curve down like that. Okay, so I want you to imagine the waffle cone is coming around and curving. And then I'm just gonna make a few diagonal lines like this, so a few on the right-hand side, and then I'm just gonna cross over them like that. And I want on the edge. So you don't have to make it like a perfect checkerboard. Um, you just want it to be like representational of a, of a ice cream cone. All right, now these ones here, I'm gonna do some straight lines coming down on the diagonal. So like one, two, let's see here, three, so I went down on the edge. I'm also gonna go across on this edge here. I want this whole side to have some brown on it. And then I'm gonna go across on like here on a diagonal. Like that. Okay, let that dry for a minute. Now we're gonna get back into our cherry. So I'm gonna take the baby brush, clean it off. I'm gonna hit the bottom of the cup. And then I'm gonna dip it into, I'm gonna make a dark cherry. So that means I'm gonna use like the tiniest little bit of my blue. So a little bit of the blue mixed into some of my red. So I'm gonna show you again. So I did a little bit of the blue mixed into some red. So I'm getting like a darker, just a slightly darker tinted um, red, just a little bit. Okay, I don't want it to be as bright fire engine. And then I'm gonna make, I always say aim for like the size of a nickel and that way if you get the size of a quarter, perfect. And I'm gonna go into this upper right-hand corner here. 
make a little circle, which is always lopsided when I paint sideways. So let me just fix that. And the other thing I would recommend is with a circle, because it's such a good little detail, hold the brush by the middle. That's how you have the most control over your brush. I also use my pinky to kind of support my hand. That might just be my own thing that may or may not work for you, but I'm just here to give you my tips. Okay. Now, if your paint is still white, you can always come back on top and lighten it later. So mine was still a little wet. So a little bit of white mixed in there, but I'm a thousand percent okay with it. So now I have red on my brush. I'm just going to dip my brush. I'm not going to wash it off. I'm just going to dip it into my red and I'm going to do what we call the plop and pull. So I'm going to do a little bit of a red highlight around my ice cream cone. So if you see on here, I have a little bit of red and then I'll be adding some white in. Let's bring it closer again. You guys can all see it. Okay. So I'm going to go like this. I'm going to plop it and pull. So it kind of pulls across. And I'm just going to go on the outer edge here, adding a little bit more. I'm going to come down, just adding a little squiggle of some dark red. And it might mix into your background, and that's great. Let it mix in, and just it'll give it some variation in color. There you go. All right, and now I have this brush out, I'm going to do some red sprinkles. So I'm going to take this baby brush. And I'm going to do all my sprinkles on the top of my canvas. And then I'm also going to have a few on the bottom. So this might be a time where if you really don't want your sprinkles to have any white in them, um, you might want to let the painting dry a little bit more, but otherwise just go right at it. So I'm going to do a few like this little lines, all these little lines. Okay. Now I'm just going to put them on the top, even though the truth is that if I go to an ice cream store, I want my sprinkles. Like I want a cup of sprinkles that I get as a side so that I can constantly keep redunking my ice cream into sprinkles. I don't know about you guys, but when I run out, it like makes me nuts. I just want to eat lots and lots of sprinkles. Okay. So I did that on the top here. I'm going to do a little bit on this bottom section too. And I'm going to come down here. And I'm going to come over here. Okay, so I've gotten those start to get a little bit longer, but that's okay. There we go. All right, so now I'm going to clean off my brush. I'm going to get a different color. So I'm going to move into some yellow now. So I'm going to take the brush, I'm going to wipe it off, I'm going to dip it into my yellow, and you know, sometimes I find the yellow is so see-through that I recommend getting a little bit of white on there. Um, but for this, I'm going to try just going on it with plain yellow first, and then we'll see what it looks like. So a little bit like that in here in here in here. All right. And then I'm going to go down here with a few more. And then I'm gonna do some at the bottom. All right, now this one had a little red in there, so I made it like an orange color, which I don't want because I'm not making a lot of orange ones. So I'm just lightly covering it up. And going on these ones. So I'm making short little lines. There you go. Okay, now I'm gonna clean it off again. And then I'm going to dip it into some of the blue. And I want mine to be like a light blue color, so I'm gonna do a little bit of blue and white, about equal parts. You can always, if it's too light or too dark, just if it's too light, add more of the blue in. If it's too dark, add more of the white in. And I'm just gonna make a few on here. So just like we do with the other ones. Okay, and then last but not least, we're gonna do them on the bottom. I say last but not least, but we're actually gonna add one more color. The color's white. All right, and then we're gonna do these. Let's do a few more. I 
Excellent. And then lastly, let's do some white. So some white ones like this. My favorite sprinkles are actually, I, I, I want to say like praline sprinkles. I might, not praline, peril, the little tiny dots. I forget. I know it starts with a P. I'm forgetting the name right now. Uh, well, you guys can message it. Text it to me. 617-553-6778. That's how I know you watch this. What is the name of those tiny little dot sprinkles? Those are my favorite. They have the best crunch. All right, I'm almost done. I'm going to do a few more. I just like the white because the white makes the other colors pop out a little bit better. I'm going to do a few more white ones at the bottom here too. And if you wanted to make this like super 4th of July feeling, you could just do red, white, and blue. Or, because um, at the time of this recording, this is 4th of July. So you may not be watching it during 4th of July, but you could make it a little more festive themed. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a little highlight. So I'm gonna go back to my metal because I wanna have a nice hand control. I'm gonna make a little curved line up in the upper right-hand corner. And then I'm gonna take this brush, I'm gonna do a little bit of the plop and pull. So that means I'm gonna go around the outer edges like this. And I'm just gonna make some quick little highlights. So this is quick highlights. Um, and all it does is it makes the other colors pop out. Um, I just kind of paint until the brush runs out of paint. Like that. And then Okay. Ah! I just had paint fly on mine, but luckily it looks like a sprinkle. So I'm just going to leave it. There we go. It looks, looks just like a sprinkle, right? I'll do another big one over here. And I think that's about it. Oh, oh my God. I forgot one thing. Last thing I just forgot is to make the stem. So I'm going to clean off my baby brush one more time. And you can either use your black for this or um, like if you mix together your, yeah, actually, you know what? We have black. I'm going to use black for this. Taking my baby brush in the black, holding it by the metal. I'm going to go right up to this cherry and I'm just going to make a little curve like that. And there you go. You have yourself an ice cream, a strawberry ice cream with a cherry on top. Now, if you wanted to change this painting at all, again, as I said before, you can do a different color background. You can change this to have be chocolate. Like it would be so cute to have a kind of like an Andy Warhol exhibit of all different ice cream cones. So if you make this, please, please, please send it to me, 617-553-6778, or post it by tagging at the paint bar, either on Facebook or post it to, fa um, I'm sorry, Instagram or Facebook, but really Instagram or text me, and that way I can see your work, okay? Everybody, thank you for joining me today. I hope you had a great time. Please make sure you send us your paintings, and um, if you are celebrating the, half of the 4th of July this weekend, have a happy 4th of July, and uh, we will see you all again soon. All right, bye everyone.